Hi Panthers, welcome back for chapter 17 of Sideways Stories from Wayside School. Today's story is all about John. John had light brown hair on a round head. He was Joe's best friend. John was one of the smartest boys in Mrs. Jewel's class, but he had one problem. He could only read words written upside down. Nobody ever wrote anything upside down, but it was only a little problem. John was still in the high reading group. He just turned his book upside down. It was easier for John to turn his book upside down than to learn to read correctly. But the easiest way isn't always the best way. Mrs. Jewell said, John, you can't go on reading like this. You can't spend the rest of your life turning your books upside down. Well, why not? asked John. Because I said so, said Mrs. Jewels. Besides, what happens when I write something on the blackboard? You can't turn the blackboard upside down. <sighs> no, I guess you're right, said John. I know I'm right, said Mrs. Jules. You are going to have to learn to stand on your head. John couldn't stand on his head. He had given up trying. You would have too if you had fallen down as many times as he had. Joe was John's best friend. He could stand on John's head. Every time John fell over, Joe stood on his head. After all, what are best friends for? My head is too round, Mrs. Jules. I can't stand on it, said John. Of course you can, John, said Mrs. Jules. If Joe can stand on your head, you, so can you. Yeah, it's easy, John. I can't, John repeated. I always fall over. Nonsense, said Mrs. Jules. All you have to do is find your center of balance. Now, up you go. John put his round head on the floor and he swung his legs up. Oh, he fell right over. And then Joe stood on John's head. See, John, it's easy. Nothing to it, Joe said. We'll help you, John, said Mrs. Jules. Joe, get off John's head and come get me my pillow from under my desk. Nancy, Calvin, come here and give us a hand. Mrs. Jules took the pillow from Joe and set it on the floor. All right, John, we'll surround you, she said. We won't let you fall. John put his head on the pillow and swung his legs up. He started to fall one way, but Nancy pushed him back up. Then he started to fall another way, but Calvin straightened him down. John kept falling a little bit this way and that way until at last he found his center of balance. And here the author kind of does something cool, so I'm actually going to show you the book. So here's where we just were. He found his center of balance. And then, look, they turned the words upside down. Hey, look at me, look at me, said John. I'm up, I'm really up. I'm standing on my head. I found my center of balance, it's beautiful. I can read the blackboard. Hey, Calvin, bring me a book and you don't have to turn it upside down. <laughs> hey, who, ah! bam. While Calvin went to get the book, John fell flat on his face. You better stay off my head, Joe, he warned. Are you all right, John? Asked Mrs. Jules. Uh, yeah, I think so. I feel a little funny. Hey, I can still read the blackboard and I'm not, and I, and I'm not upside down. I can read right side up now. When I fell, I must have flipped my brain or something. That is wonderful, John, said Mrs. Jules. Here, put the pillow back under my desk. As a reward, you may have a Tootsie Roll pop. They are in the coffee can on top of my desk. John placed the pillow on top of her desk, and then he looked under the desk, but he couldn't find the Tootsie Roll pops anywhere. All right, friends. Thanks for your time. I'll see you back tomorrow.